Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for May 2nd, 2018. So this is going to be a four card spread guys. The first one it is showing up the topic of the day and the topic is going to be the six of uh, pentacles. The second card does expresses things which are not going to work into our favor or other things we should constrain ourselves of doing. That will be the five of pentacles here. The, th the third card that shows up things that are going to help us during the day or things we should do during that day. That will be the uh, knight of wands and the last one is the results of all that into a positive aspect in case these couple of cards are kept as a condition. So. <clears throat> The topic of the day, Six of Pentacles, it is about giving all that we got into a certain things, either into our career or either into our relationship. Very important to be acknowledged here is that whatever we invest, we should not expect a return immediately. So this is kind of like investment for a prolonged period of time with the Six of Pentacles, as well as the generosity should be our main focus during that particular day, especially if we are approached by by a person that um, you know it's it's in a really tough spot and uh, they truly truly need our help very important to be said with the six of pentacles however is that the hierarchies are going to be kept in place which means that even if you give help or even if you receive help this is not going to change your position nor the position of the one you gave help to or the one that you have taken help from all right so that being said whatever help is given to you or whatever help you give to someone Somebody today this ain't going to resolve the issue by a long shot and uh, it's just going to ease the suffering if I may say it that way and it's going to ease the symptom of the problems but the problems is not going to vaporize not to mention that the six of pentacles as well sometimes may mean a of um, <clears throat> a lucrative opportunity that comes into your way but it is very important here to as well acknowledge that you cannot drive into it alone Alone because it does depend on a higher layer of the society and the hierarchy which means you know that you will need to ask either on an improvement from somebody or you have to uh, attract a, a, a more powerful figure so can uh, actually allow you you know to push on forward that particular opportunity but it's not going to be for every single one of us you know this is just one of the meanings of the six of pentacles what the important matter of the six of pentacles for today guys is that no matter what we do no matter how much we invest and no matter how much we help or how much we get helped you know the balance will be maintained which means that if you don't help ourselves then the the issues will not going to be resolved that being said we go to the second card which is things we should constrain ourselves of doing and the five of pentacles points that with the help we either give or with the help we either receive we will feel almighty to take on multiple tasks at hand or rather like a multiple issues that we are facing into our environment and into our world at hand this is how we are going to feel and this is exactly what we should not do here with the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles is the card pointing that the difficulties are on the multiple fronts all right but right now the most imperative for us is to is to focus at one thing at hand before we actually you know uh, and we don't go to a a, a different agenda unless we a hundred percent finalize whatever we are working toward so that being said is also a day of um Clearing out, a, a clearing up for ourselves our priorities. What is more important for your your job or your family, uh, <clears throat> your money or uh, your freedom, for example. You know, you gotta set up your priorities straight, guys, so you can um, you can actually invest what you have as a help or what you give as a help into a one single target, into a one single goal, so you can channel it and you can clear the path forward for yourself regarding that particular. thing thing so what what the day will ask from you is to ask yourself what is the most important thing you want to be resolved because at that particular day not everything can be resolved but 
one particular thing can't be resolved and it is up to you which um, uh, to, de to define which one that is going to be and yeah the help that you may get is going to ease your suffering and under su suffering is not the correct word I need to use here the toils all right it's going to ease your toils but yet without your efforts it's it's simply a resolution won't be reached and then we go to the uh, knight of wands which is the things you need to do during the day. The Knight of Wands usually is a person who is scampered around, who try versatilities, you know, who goes into a multiple goals. And as we said, this is not what you need to do. But that is on the negative side of the Knight of Wands because the Knight of Wands, this is just the beginning of the Knight of Wands, trying and experimenting, all right? But after the Knight of Wands defines, you know, the, uh, the path for himself, he just charges toward that direction. So uh, the time for experimenting and trying, waiting and out, you know, hoping that it's gonna fix on its own accord should be over by now. And you should realize that uh, the situation that you're trying to resolve at that particular day, guys, does require your brilliant thoughts, does require your um, <clears throat> awesome uh, capability of create a, a good strategies as well. The Knight of Wands is also someone who does, is not afraid to uh, take risks, all right? So you also need to be ready to take certain risks, but these needs to be a, a calculative risks here with the Six of Pentacles, all right? And especially as you will have the help you need, then the risks will not seem that of a, um, that, that, that will not seem that the risk will have that big of a backlash on you. And then we go to the uh, next card, which is the final one, how this is going to resolve for you in the long run, all right? What will be the positivity of the day in case you keep these conditions here? Take advantage of the help given, you know, focus on one particular goal, risk what you need to do in order to make a resolution here, be vigorous about it as well, because the Knights of Wands is vigorous and, and passionate about you know, achieving his goal, etc., etc. How this is going to play out in the long run for you as a benefit? We have the night, the the ten of wands. Well, uh, first of all, with the ten of wands, it does look like that you're going to please those which. Um, which actually are obstructing you moving forward, which means that there will not be an obstacle anymore. As well as the Ten of Wands speaks for a clearance that after you uh, re you reach a resolution to that particular thing of today, then you are going to have a clearance now to take on the uh, vast majority of your problems moving on into the future. So that speaks that you do have one key problem to resolve and after you reach its resolution again then you can take on all um, th then you can take on the rest of your problems all at once but first of all you need to resolve this key one all right that could be uh, you know fighting with your husband or a wife it could be a, a bad behavior from your boss or kind of misunderstanding in between you and your boss and it's all it all comes to that define what is the key of stopping you moving forward and today by being passionate about it and by being willing to risk something for it then you will be able to make a resolution as I said uh, as you will have the support of somebody along the way and as well the ten of wands does speaks that you're gonna fit yourself into a certain code of conduit and a certain patterns and you're gonna find yourself as well very busy and with a lot of obligations but these obligations will just be only according to the uh, difficulties that you need to resolve in the future either they are going to be big difficulties or um, small difficulties and uh, I'm talking about difficulties and I don't want to have the impression here that you will struggle tremendously moving on with the future. Difficulties is something uh, abstract. What I mean is that everybody faces difficulties. Some people face difficulties to make their coffee. Other people may face difficulties being stuck in the highway, you know, etc., etc. It is just it could relate to many things in your life. And it doesn't mean that you're going to have that big fight with your husband where you're going to be on the edge living living. Uh, the relationship or you will be on the edge being fired etc etc it is just today's uh, <clears throat> today's tenacious drive that you will have to own one, one particular problem you're experiencing at this particular moment you know is going to give you the the, the, the self-confidence um, 
needed for you to take on the matters at hand much more easily and to be uh, much more systematic as well and realize that uh, you know and the bottom line of the day is a, a very big lesson realizing that if you don't help yourself no one else can um, resolve your issues or rather if you want something done right you gotta do it yourself so uh, this was your tarot reading guys for May 2nd 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.